Hello and welcome back to Achievementville. My name is Badger and this is the city that needs a good fixing. So, last time we fixed up the public transport in this area, putting in trams and buses. Now, we are working on the death care situation now. I am not making them suffer on purpose. I'm not sick or twisted like that. We are doing this mainly to fulfill this achievement. So we've got one last cemetery over here in the middle of the screen. That is not full. All the others are now full, but we have to wait until that one is full so we can basically move on with this task. So we've got about a thousand more people to bury in that one cemetery, and then we can start fixing the problem. So I'm going to go off and watch the boys while you guys can look at cinematics of the city. This actually might take more time than expected, so I'm probably just going to cut away until it's like done. Yeah, let's cut away. You know what, we can actually make a start on this while we're waiting for our plans to come to fruition. And we are going to come across here. Actually, no, we're going to make the road along the back. We're going to keep going with the square theme, as much as I hate it. Now, what we want to do is to put a cemetery down, but we don't want it on. So we're going to click it, we're going to click pause, we're going to put it down right next to there, so we have the option and we are going to turn it off okay and then this way when we come to empty this they'll come out they'll drop them off they'll come back they'll go in they'll come out they'll drop them off go back to very much quicker than if it was over here and the one over if that was the only one and the church that's over here was sending its car all the way along here the crematorium all the way back all the way there all the way back you don't want one per church, or maybe you do actually, depending on your like the level of death wave. Oh, perfect! That house is uh, needed to be demolished. Thank you very much. Sorry for your loss. And there we go. We're gonna put that road in there. We're gonna put crematorium. Here. Ah, ah, it's on, it's on, it's on. Turn it off, turn it off. And we want the trees because we're going to try and make this a little bit nicer. Why not? We've got time. There we go. We'll try and make this not look so much like a crematorium. we go. So we've got one on this side of the city, one on that side of the city. I think we're going to need one down here. That'd be a nice place for it. Yeah, let's, let's carry on. Let's put it in the city. Hmm. What do we want? No, we'll put it out in the country. No, we'll put it out in this bit. So we're going to put another cemetery out here. Turn it off. So we need to complete this challenge. Two, almost, almost, a hundred, a hundred to go. Okay, so we've got one in this corner, one in that corner, one in that corner. Kind of tempted. There's two that can use that one, there's two that can use that one, or three that can use that one, and there's two over here that can use this one. No, I think we're good. I think we're good for that. So that's ready. All the crematoriums are in place, and now we just have to wait for this to unlock.
Boom! Boom, 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 boom! We've done it! We have unlocked Grand Central Station! Which, ironically, doesn't have any trains coming out of it. I don't know, maybe if you're from New York, if you can let me know if Grand Central Station does or not have trains coming out of it. But, uh, right, so, the main way to avoid uh, a death wave is to not overpopulate your city. I'm going to turn these on now. Turn the back up on, we're going to unload that. See now what's going to happen is he's going to come here, and he's going to drive back. Then he's going to go here, he's going to drive back. So it's very simple. And we're going to do the same thing with that. So he's going to drive to that local crematorium. See that? Um. Um. And that whole thing's going to begin. But then that will free up these to uh, start uh, storing bodies again. And see, he's gonna, he would have to go to the other crematorium if we didn't turn this one on. And that's made loads of people happy, weirdly. Apparently, they're into burning bodies. And we're gonna do the same thing here. Let's turn that on. And also at the same time, this is kind of a two-prong attack because I think the guys have come out of here. I think the guys have come out the crematorium, start finding bodies as well. Look, six of mine. See that he's going to go and he's going to actually pick up someone from the large playground. So not only do you have the old churches like getting rid of their bodies and everything, they are now picking up people as well. So this has suddenly become like a much bigger thing. And then we're going to empty that one as well. It's just going to be hearse after hearse after hearse after hearse. There you go, hearse. Now we've got all of the hearses in use. They're all going out. And what also helps is if you put your medical care budget budget up, because then that means you get more hearses. If you put it down, you get less hearses. And also time helps with the death wave, but now we've got actual people going out, more people going out, collecting uh, from the cemeteries, as well as the churches, now putting down, uh, not putting down, putting, putting away people into the crematoriums. That's going to absolutely help. Okay, so also what we can do is we can put down another church. That would also help because they can go and start collecting as well. Some people like to sit and watch trains go by, and I can't blame them, so I would like to be buried here because there's going to be a train yard out there in the future. See, so now these guys, they can go help collect everything and now if we look at our death care see we've cleared loads of people out the cemetery and we've got loads of people being cremated as well I don't want to overdo it I don't want to just put up temporary one of these and also I don't want to just destroy a load of houses just to put one in so yeah, it's basically just going to take time. We've got a death care in the green. This is going down. And this will continue to fall. And we are going to cut away again. And also, this is also going to help with our residential demand. Because as you can see, these are like sitting empty. But as soon as we get rid of the people inside, they'll be free for occupancy. In like a really dark way. And um, yeah, so I'm going to cut away I'm gonna have a look at things to fix for next time and I'll see you in a bit the thing is you don't want to overdo it because when you start having less death you'll have too many uh, funeral directors or whoever come the rehearse people that come and pick up the bodies but I think that's a good good mix we're in the green and we are disposing of the bodies quite well and there you go that is how you sort out your death care you add more crematoriums and more 
you add like one crematorium to every two or three churches you have. Probably around about three really if you want to be on the conservative side. Two on the more liberal if you're expanding fast like we are. And yeah. We are in good shape according to Death Go. Much better than when we were when we started the episode. We've got one guy here still waiting for a pickup. But oh no, he's gone. Okay, right, well that just proves it. So that was how to clean up the death care in the city, and we've done that. Perfect, see you on the next one. I hope you enjoyed that, and remember to like, subscribe, and maybe even hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on the next episode. Oh, we've still got some seconds. Why not give me some feedback in the comments below? It would be greatly appreciated. And bonus, you can find me on your favourite social media platform. Links are in the description below. Until next time, have a lovely day.